Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to crush lithium ion batteries. We are going to start from small and work our way to this big boy. And this video is done in collaboration with Rexer and other experts in battery recycling field here in Finland. They are running Chompy battery campaign. Its goal is to inform about dangers of lithium ion batteries and why you shouldn't just throw them in the trash. It's going to be pretty clear after this video that these are pretty dangerous if they are not taken care of properly. Actually the batteries are so dangerous to crush that even I didn't want to try this at home. So instead we took the press and lot of batteries to our explosion park. Here is good safe area to do these tests. We had also battery fire expert from fire department here to help us to tell about batteries, how they burn and what type of dangers there is. And also to take care that the crushed batteries are safe to transport away after the experiments. So don't try this or anything like this at home. This is stupid. Yeah, I think we start to crush and I tell more about the proper way of handling this as we go. And we are going to start with this tiny cell and they said that even that has quite a lot of fire and anger inside of it. The goal of these experiments is to show how dangerous lithium ion batteries can be if they get damaged and wake up as in zombie batteries after that. For example, if you just throw them into trash, they might get damaged and get on fire inside of your trash bin or the trash truck that is picking them up. That was surprisingly loud and sharp. Yeah. It was almost like an explosion. Yeah, it, it looked very nice. Yeah, I think you can nicely see in the high speed here how it went. But that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice start, nice start. Okay, then the next one. This is drone battery. And it's already a bit swelled. So it's like not in good condition. And to minimize risk of nothing happening, I put some screws under the thing. So this is like worst case scenario. Okay, let's hope that it doesn't fall. Looks good. Oh. Okay, there is some smoke. Yeah. Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh no, it's smoking. Oh, it's smoking. <laughs> it's not safe at all. No, no, it looks terrible. Oh no, oh. Yeah, I think it's going to need some time to like catch on fire, but if that would be inside of like trash truck like that, the truck is in fire in like one hour or yeah. something. Not good at no. all. Okay, and now we have this wonderful mix here inside of Worm Maker. We have cell phones and sharp screws. And this is going to replicate a bit of like waste compactor or trash truck. And it's full of random stuff and some lithium ion batteries that shouldn't be here. And let's see how our uh, truck likes the situation when it tries to crush the waste. Okay. He doesn't look super worried this time. I think it's like the pocket form is easier. Okay, this is magnificent sight. We have lithium ion cells on worm maker and they are standing up. So you remember <laughs> what was the deal. And now they are in closed space. So this is a bit unrealistic, but it's going to, it's going to be just fun. 
Wormmaker tool is actually a pretty good demonstration of dangers of mishandling the zombie batteries because nowadays it's important to be like as efficient as possible and on waste treatment that means crushing the waste so it takes less space. The batteries if they are with wrong type of waste and they get crushed it's the completely same thing. They sort themselves and get on fire and of course there's like quite a lot of batteries here and a lot of fire but there's like plastic and other stuff around the batteries so if even one small battery gets on fire then the whole trash truck or waste compactor gets on fire so even one lithium ion battery that you just throw into trash it might generate a lot of problems down in the line so always take your used batteries to used battery collection point and tape the battery terminals to prevent short circuits. I think that's pretty clear what happened, but there is so lot of like stuff still that it's probably probably not optimal situation. Okay, here is our uh, end result. Seems that it's not okay to uh, inspect it. Hanna, yeah. do you have any tools to like scrape the worm maker? So now we do yoga no, we don't have. Yeah, I think the like uh, air cylinder and breather was good call. There's quite a lot of toxic stuff coming out. Okay, time to escalate things. Two giant like power tool batteries and these are charged full. Okay, here we go. And here you can see really dangerous battery fire. The gases that the batteries release are extremely toxic. They can destroy your lungs and even give you a heart attack. So if the batteries get on fire, this is like the worst case scenario that can happen. And the cylindrical uh, battery cells, they even fly like small rocket motors. Of course, there is typically a lot of protection around the battery cells. So, for example, if you crash your electric car, this doesn't happen. But this is a great example why you shouldn't play with batteries. On later this day, some of the cells flew like 20 meters away from burning batteries. So this is extremely dangerous. So to prevent this, always recycle your batteries in the right way. At least in here in Finland, you can always return them to the place that sells them. From this side you can find list of Finnish recycling points. And for other countries your government usually has pretty nice websites about your possibilities to recycle used batteries. Okay. The leftovers are on fire. Oho. Yeah, that. Okay, then the grand final. This is from e-bike or e-scooter. Does it actually say how large it is? Uh, it doesn't say, but it looks around 500 watt hours. So that's a lot more than previous one. It looks also quite sturdy, so probably needs quite a lot of force to be crushed. But here we go. Here it goes. Oh. Hey. I think we have to try other like demon, like flip it on its side. Yeah, new try. Okay, new try. 
hopefully more explosive results. Ei hitto, se on liian kestävä. Ei hajo. Okay, third time is the charm. No. I think we need to hire the guy. I kind of yeah. like this workflow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are here like 50 meters and he's there. <laughs> no. I think this is really boring battery chemistry on this one. Yeah. That's I technical term. Should we? <laughs> We need to add something. Yeah. yeah, I think this is just like one of those that doesn't explode. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.